going live. I'm live, not in New York City. Hi, I'm Ruth, and I'm hoping that I haven't started talking too soon. That's what I was doing on the other one. Anyway, um, I'm hoping that this is going to be a lot better quality. And just from what I see, it kind of looks that way. But then the other one didn't look bad to me until I played it back. Anyway, welcome to my home studio. And uh, the setup is a little bit different here. Internet connection is a little bit different here. But um, I think what I'm going to do today is I would really like to redo the video I did the other day um, with a different outcome. Obviously, I'm not going to make exactly the same thing I made. And I can see that that light is shining right crazy like. But I'm going to put the lid down a little bit. I'm on my laptop this time, same as I was at the studio. So today, we're going to make an art journal. And I haven't even opened this envelope yet. And that might have been a mistake because <laughs> I was thinking for a minute I couldn't get into it. Um, but anyway, there we go. I don't have my letter opener with me. I'm not sure why, but a butter knife works really well. So this is, oh, and I'm going to have to split the sides. So I'm going to go around three sides of this envelope. And I'm starting with a window envelope so that we can make use of that window. Boy, this is a tough one. Oh, gosh, and I just tore it. <laughs> I knew this wasn't a good idea, but we will make it work. It's from ARP. Many of you won't get these for years. Many of the rest of you have already been getting them. Um, I don't know why I get multiple envelopes from them asking me to sign up, and I already signed up. Anyway, this is the stuff that's in it, and we're going to use some of that, too. Here's an extra little piece. I'm going to leave that in because it's holding on the plastic. Okay, so this is the point where I'm going to tip the lid down so you can see what I'm doing on the workbench. And um, I don't really need to see you so much, but I can kind of see a little bit what you can see. So I'll try and stay right about here. Okay, this is that extra little flap that's in there, but when I went to maybe take it out, it's kind of attached to that plastic, so I think we'll leave it in. And not only that, but I'm going to glue stick it down so it doesn't have the uh, desire to come up. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do going to find where the center is. There it is. And we're going to decorate the front and the back cover. And basically, you could decorate it any way you want. Um, what I did in the other one, and I wanted to show you that art journal. Oh, here it is because you probably didn't get to see it close up. Now, I used this pipe cleaner as a latch temporarily, because I wanted to see if I thought it was a good idea. But I actually had already put in some gold cord. This is the front of it. There's the window. And I made this little card that slides up and down. Why you would want to slide it up and down, I don't know. Um, but it does. And I have washi tape around the edge for a border. And so what I did is I put a little tab on the card that matched the washi tape, which was actually um, a good idea because then it sort of blends in with the border. See, you can't hardly see it. Anyway, this was the cover and it's pretty firm. And uh, what I did is I put little bits of paper not this paper, but I basically tore up paper like what I had sitting here. Here it is. Little pieces of book. And I pasted them here, there, and everywhere just to give it some texture. And then I wrote in between and I did rubber stamping. And then I painted 
the pink and the purple and the blue. And then that was too dark. And so I thought, let's lighten this up. Let's put something bright. And I decided to make it like a food journal of recipes. And so I found this really yummy looking recipe and the recipe just fit right there. So that's cool. And then I named it food. Well, I don't want to do another one that's food. I don't know what the other one's going to be. So I'm just going to kind of leave it generic. Um, this one tied in the middle. And you could always untie it, put more pages. So we're going to kind of do what's sort of what's in here and um, do something a little different on the outside. I have another class where we make jelly prints. And I hope some of you guys are watching that actually have come to that class because um, sometimes they always couldn't fit in their schedule when I was doing the class where we use the jelly prints. But this is some of the prints that we have made. These are two of my favorite. So I, I'll probably have to use them in this somehow. Um, and I have a little stack here. Lots of turquoise. Here's some red and yellow. That's kind of cool. Pink, red and something. More red and something. I like that one. Oh, there's some little bits. There's some green with some swirlies. They're a little harder to see. But, um, oh, interesting. Apparently, Ruth got uh, distracted by something. And Never took this stencil off of here. How nice is that? I'll have to fix that later. Okay. Um, anyway, there's more than enough jelly prints. And here's a nice light turquoise and a yellow. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's see if this goes with the dark turquoise. these back up get them out of the way don't need that color or that one or that one no i might use some of these others on another page but um okay i think these two go nicely with those yep okay so I'm going to use these, and what I'm going to do, and here's one more that's of the same color family. Oh, interesting. Move this one out. Don't need that. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this one off. There we go. See, what I was going to do is I was going to tear up this art information. There's another envelope. Woo it doesn't have a window, but it doesn't mean it can't be something. Anyway, um, I try not to use things that have like my address unless I'm going to paint over it really well. All right, so I'll just set those aside because instead of doing that, I'm going to do this. Now, I don't, this doesn't fit, number one. And um, number two, I, I don't want blank white stuff. I already have enough of that on the envelope anyway. And since I'm turned this way, I'm going to put my trash can right there. Things always seem to have more interest when you tear it. I don't know why, but. We're going to go with it. I'm working on a piece of cardboard. If you don't have a work surface, try opening out a cereal box and um, using that as your work surface. Anything to keep the surface beneath from getting paint and glue and goop slopped all over it. Okay, so I'm going to put this one. Now, you know that 
spot where the envelope didn't tear real nice. We're gonna end up taking care of that real soon because look at this, we're going right over that tear on this side and then we'll put something else on the other side to go over it there. So it won't even matter that it tore. Okay, let's see. Let me get that off of there. Good enough. Hmm, kind of fat here. Let's see. What if I move this? We don't want to go over the window because then it will cease to be a window. All right. And in case you're wondering, I do have a second piece of cardboard over here so that I can glue stuff and not get that glue all over the one I'm actually working on. Lesson learned, the tough way of course. Got glue on something I don't want to get it on. This is just a temporary hold because um, although it does, if you get enough on there, it will hold it. But later on, we're going to go over it with golden medium. I have soft gel here. And um, all right, let's see. I want some of this. right here. And yeah, this is kind of cool. Um, glue stick comes out purple and dries clear. Because you might see me smudging some of it out onto the envelope. And then a few seconds later, it's gone. Very cool. Okay, let's see if we can fit this here, yeah. And this makes faster work. And plus, even though we're gonna use the medium later, if we use it now, then it's gonna get parts of the envelope wet where we can't do anything else. Let's see. can tell I'm not real careful with this glue stick. You just got to get the, oh, look, there's purple on there. It'll disappear. You just got to get the edges and some of the middle. Oops. And let's see about this one. I'm going to put that there. Now I've left spaces in between so that we could have something else. Give it some more interest. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I could have used one more piece here. Let's go with this. Yeah, that'll work. Just getting right up to the window, but not in it. Okay. Oh, I could put something there, huh? <laughs> it kind of starts uh, becoming I don't know, a challenge there. Because this is kind of like the reverse of what's there. I don't know if any of you noticed that, but, um, or do I have that glue stick right in your way? So this is more of a whitish with turquoise accent splotches, and these are turquoise with whitish cap. There we go because it will dry out. All right, so here's our cover so far. Yeah, I saw that little bit. It's all right, we'll cover it later. 
Didn't need to use that one. Still have some pieces left. And I do still like putting a little bit of text in between here and there. So I'm just going to take little bits and put like here. I'm not going to put as much as I have the jelly print. And I also want to make sure that I turn it in multiple directions so it's not like you're supposed to read it. Okay, see that side has three pieces. Let's see. Put this one right here in the middle. And I kind of think of this as giving new life to an old book that otherwise would have been tossed to the curb. Actually, it was tossed to the curb, and I salvaged it. And if you don't have any books you want to tear up, that's fine. That's where the junk mail comes in. Take those letters from whoever it is you're getting them from that you don't want, and just rip them up. Here was something um, that came from the bank. And I thought, well, we certainly don't need that. As long as you make sure that you tear off or cover up any account numbers, you know, things with your name, your address, that sort of stuff. Okay, good. Not bad, huh? All right, so now we'll give it just a little bit of character to round it out. Um, I like to use these stamp pads that are all above the surface so you can wipe things on them, press things on them. And most any of the, oh, you know what? These are round, just like the uh, bubbles here. Ha! Huh. Most, oh well. I'm so easily distracted here. I love these. They're like, um, I called them swirlies. And, and I know I'm going to hear feedback about that. I should have just called them swirls in the other video that I did on Facebook. Oh, well, you know. But um, anyway, they're there. And this, I just want to show you, is a really cool stamp that I made with rubber bands and a little box. Anything that you could wrap it around. You could do this with a bar of soap or a soap box, you know, that you're going to throw out anyway. You just wrap them around every which way and then pick one side so that you get your hands on the clean side and just put it on the stamp pad. Okay, wait, I'm going to show you a good one. I've been using this a lot. I wonder if, but isn't that cool? I think it is. All right. So we've got a good number of things on here and it looks kind of, yeah. And so I'm gonna do, let's see, it's turquoise. I'm gonna do a little bit no, too dark. I think this is opaque, though. You know, some of these, yeah, this one, well, this one is um, translucent. It's like half opaque, half transparent. That means translucent. This one is transparent. So that means that you can put it on and you'll be able to see through it. So I'm going to do that and uh, just go around. 
the spots where the turquoise is. I already had some on this plate, so I wanted to use that first. Okay, so just kind of in between, and we might find that we're making that pattern, we might find that we're not. We don't want to paint the window, so just be cautious of that. We can paint over the text. And we can paint around the window. But whatever we're doing is going to be really, really light. It's just kind of a wash. And uh, that will ensure that it dries quickly so that we don't have to sit here waiting. I do have a fan over here I can turn on. It's not very loud. I tested it in the last video. Um, I think I will turn it on. And it's kind of aimed at me and the board. So that's pretty good. I don't know if you can see the purple. See, it's really light, but it's just for contrast. I didn't even use what I squirted out on the plate. I used what was there before. All right. So now we've got that, and we're going to um, cover this with our soft gel and then set it aside to dry. While it's drying, we're going to work. Now, where's my big brush? We're going to work on the pages inside. Oh, here it is. I was going to say, I didn't even use it this morning. Okay, so again, this is by Golden. And I'm hoping that's not backwards for you. <laughs> if it is, I can't fix it. At least not right now. Um, this is the point <laughs> where you really, really want to wear gloves because this is worse than getting like Elmer's glue on you that you can peel off. You can peel this off, but it takes days. I'm not sure why. It's just a different kind of adhesive. Let's see if oh, this one's inside out. Yeah, well, I only need one. But I'm really careful. Now you watch. I'll get it on the other one. See, because this is the one, this is like the working hand. Okay, so again, you want to not go over the window. You just want to go around it. And this one has two windows. Talk about challenging. Yeah, see now, it's like I gotta touch it to hold it still. Maybe I'll just touch it here. And I'm brushing against some of the edges so that I can get up under them. No window on the side. Okay, good. If you have scrapbook paper, like that come in those big pads, you can use that on the other side. You could use it on this side for that matter. But um, I was trying to create like a mixed media interest. There we go. And that goes in that dish. And so now we've got that ready to dry. And we'll just set it, well, I could set it here. No, because it'll be in the way. All right, I'm just going to set it over here behind you. And I'll turn the fan so that it's aimed at it. Here we go. Pages. Okay. Um, one thing I didn't do, which I normally do first, is measure. So we want about nine inch tall by 11 wide. 
9 by 11. The 11 will get folded in half, but we still want, we can have, and I should say that differently, we can have up to 9 by 11. It, by no means do we need to have something that goes all the way. Um, so let's see. This, ooh, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Everything I go to throw away now I can think of a use for. This is nine by six. So we could use this, um, the, the 11 goes that way. So we're gonna fold this. This is very thick watercolor paper. It came out of a spiral book of watercolor paper. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 300 pounds, because this does not act like 140. But I thought it would be kind of cool to have watercolor paper in there. Um, okay, this is just a page of pretty something that I found in a magazine. Um, and other things that we can add. Let's see, this looks bigger than this, so I know that it's okay and it's probably 11 or just under. 10 and three quarters. <laughs> you kind of get used to these sizes. So, all right, I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to trim off this edge that I ripped. I have my cutter over here. Just a wee bit of trim. Okay. And we'll put these together at the fold. I also have some cardstock, which is eight and a half by 11. And we said nine by 11. Okay, that works. So we'll just use the whole page. Now, what was I using before for the half? Oh yeah. You could use anything to kind of burnish this down. Okay, I'll put this in here. And they don't need to be same sizes, same shapes. Same anything. All right. Um, I don't think this one is good. Well, now we could do. Let's trim these white areas off. And that will leave us with a short. Okay, so if we fold it here, and I'm going to trim that ragged edge just only because the other three edges are, are trimmed. All right, this is going to give us what we call a half page. And those are great. I'm going to stack them this way so that you can see. Those are great as long as you position them in a place where they'll get caught by the clasp. Okay, so let me bring this back. It's not quite dry, but I'm gonna use it to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Right. These are all gonna go in here. they'll be at this bend. So you'll want to center this, and I'm glad I have the orange paper side up. So we'll center this this way so that we have the same amount pretty much. Okay, and we've got about a quarter of an inch on both sides. That's great. And then this one, we can center that a little better. There we go. Center this one on top of that. And then we get to this one. Now, if we center this, we're going to put two holes in the spine 
of this thing. And they're probably gonna be real close to where the edges of this are. So that's probably not a smart thing to do. What we wanna do is move it down so that we'll get one good hole through probably the center-ish of this. And I can see if we were to do that, where's that little tape? Okay, here's what I did before. I'm gonna put two little pieces of tape here. We can follow this out and put a piece of tape here and a piece of tape here to indicate where the holes are gonna be back here. Okay, that way we can tell this is not a good idea. It might make it, but it might not. We might have a little bit smaller one. So I'm gonna move this down and then this hole will be right in the middle. And then I could have another half sheet. I'm not gonna use this one, I don't think. But I could put this one up here and this one would be about right in the middle of that page. We could do that. And then I usually have like a music page and I think I used the only one I had in the one I did this morning. Okay, so we need one more page that will just serve as the middle. I've got it. We'll do another piece of cardstock in yellow. And I'll fold this in half. So I just kind of like the middle. And there's nothing saying I couldn't find other music paper and collage it on top of this. Okay. So we want to get these all lined up. And I usually don't like to put these two half sheets together on the, in the same. I like to put one here and then maybe one back here. Okay, making sure that the fold is lined up. I know these are weird looking pages to you, but they're not gonna stay this way. All right, so I'm kind of centering this in the orange paper. And I'm just going to give it a little, I don't have my little furnishing knife here. I didn't know what all things to bring home, you know. Okay, there's our middle so far. So then I'm going to stick this. Did I trim that orange one? I thought it was fine. No, okay. I'm setting it right on top of the orange. So I know that's where it goes. Okay, time for the holes. So I'm following this tape and I'm gonna put one hole right here. And I want something to hold this down. If I had um, large clips, that would be awesome. But, okay, I can hold these, but I can't make it go all the way out to the cover. So I'll just have to be really careful. And the cover's a little fragile right now because we haven't done the inside of it yet. There we go. So I'm going all the way through, carefully to go through my fingers, not into them. And it did kind of swivel a little bit like it does. So then I'm gonna follow this tape and put one here. There we go. Okay, so we'll reline these back up later, but I just want to let this dry some more. It's not even dry all the way. All right, let's pop this up in front of the fan. There we go. Okay. So, I'll show you pockets, that's what I'll do. Because I'm, I'm looking at this um, 
This was a boarding pass that I had printed out when I went to my mom's 90th birthday party. And so maybe it's something that I would like to keep. So I'm just gonna fold this long page over. And in order to make it stay, I'm gonna take some pretty washi tape. And I'm gonna put it across there. I'm gonna scoop this down. And about the same amount up on the top. And then I can fold these over to the back. And that will hold down the pocket. Now, the only thing about washi tape is it's not permanent. So I'll have to go over this with some of this uh, soft gel. Okay, one thing that I figured out earlier is I want this to kind of stick out so I can see what it is, but need Mr. Scissors to cut off the corners so that'll tuck in there. And I just need a little, little bit more. This one was a little bigger than the one I used before. Good grief. Okay, maybe I need to go up like that. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll just take some of my, yeah, if I can find it, not that glue stick, and just tack this down. And I very purposely missed the hole. That's just going to be a tack down. Okay, and these other things, we um, we don't want to try and do too much of the pages before we put it in the cover. So we're going to set those aside and finish the cover. Okay, now I just want to explain something I thought of when I saw this earlier. And I went, ooh, here's what I was thinking. <laughs> this could go on the sides of one of these windows to dress it up. Or it could look really corny and I could decide oh, that's dumb. Like, yeah, that's dumb. Okay, so <laughs> it was a thought. I'm going to take off these pieces of tape. And this side is pretty dry. I'm just gonna trim these holes that we made with the awl because they come through to the outside looking a little ragged. And I don't particularly like that. Okay, so we're gonna turn it over. I'm brushing that into the trash can, by the way. And we're gonna decide what to do with this side. So on this side, Here's what I'm thinking. We're going to do all text. And in order to rip it a little straighter, well, there we go. The thing is, you don't want to do a page that is as big as this, because then you have nowhere to go. You, 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 you can't really get the edges down. So, and then that brings in a whole nother challenge of keeping the edges closed once you've glued it edge to edge. And I've been down that road and it's not fun. It's a bit bumpy. So we'll just kind of stick this in the middle. And hope this isn't a dirty book. <laughs> and then we can take some of our paint. Oh, I like that it skipped and left white streaks. Oh, I do like that. I think I'll just do that here too. Turn it around. I'm going down the spine. 
getting on some dark and leaving some light. Very nice. Beautiful. Okay. The other side. You know, just to... Uh, Oh, it's not big enough. All right. We'll just use some of the same book. This is a book, by the way, about Winston Churchill. And um, I think Maybe I can fit some of page two. This side is more, oh wait, this side we want to do solid. Shoot, that's right, okay. New page. <laughs> All right, I'm still going to tear it down smaller. I'll show you why. We still don't want this to go edge to edge. We'll just put it in the middle. Like this. And then we have something to show through. I need to go down further. Okay, to glue this one in, we need to put the glue on the envelope, not the page. Because otherwise, you will not know when you're getting near the window and what not to glue. Okay, I know I put more glue than I need. That's okay. There. Beautiful. Okay. And then we'll put some more of our, which is the only reason I did not put this in water. Okay, now in water. And then I have a piece of bubble wrap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really did have a piece of bubble wrap. <laughs> it's just a small piece. Well, it was big enough. Oh, I hate that. Okay, so. Change of plan. Yes, so we'll use this. Oh, here's a piece. <laughs> okay, never far from bubble wrap. And yeah, this one didn't get cleaned. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some turquoise. And I'm going to take my Let's see, we'll use this brush. Hang out over there for a minute. I'm going to take, this is like a little mini scrub brush um, from Lowe's or Menards or somewhere. And I'm just kind of lightly brushing it. I'm trying not to get down in between the dots because I want to do something like this. And I'll hold this up and show you in a minute. It just dries really fast. I can hear my phone buzzing, which means it's obviously somebody that's not watching this video. Oh, it's just telling me to drink water. <laughs> I 
Yes, I know, I know. Okay, I have water right down there. There. Okay. Here's what this looks like. Lots and lots of texture. Loving it, loving it. Um, at this point, I might take um, a white gel pen and draw something or a black gel pen or even a Sharpie. Um, might draw one of my crazy birds. Yeah, this Sharpie was giving me trouble earlier too. I'm not sure if it's... It's a little better. <laughs> Still pooping out on me. It could be that the um, paint just isn't dry enough. I mean, I don't really think that's it. I think they're just... Um, Kind of used up. And I always like to put little curls in their tail. But I can um, you can't go anywhere without a wing. My goodness. I really do need to get better sharpies. Okay, so Before we put pages in this, we really want to get this sealed. But um, if I do that, then we'll have to wait for this to dry again. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll just put this together for you. And then the nice part is you can always take it apart to add more pages. So I'll just take it apart later to do that. Um, there's a variety of things that you can use. Earlier I had some green floral wire. I think I stopped it in one of these drawers. It's amazing. Yeah, there we go. It's amazing what's in these drawers. <laughs> Here's green floral wire. If you've never seen it, it's like covered in fabric. And um, it's used for floral displays. So you could, it's kind of like a pipe cleaner, which I have in regular and I have in sparkly. And I also have some jute, which looks really nice uh, depending on the cover. And our cover, it's not very jute-like. So, and since I'm gonna redo it later, I'm just gonna do one of these to show you how easy it is because you could use a pipe cleaner now and change it out for something else later. All right, so I've been moving these around, so there's no way that they're lined up still. So I'm just gonna go through the holes one at a time. And see, this one didn't get a top hole, that's okay. So we'll pick up this one, and we'll pick up this one, except I can't see what I'm doing, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna bend that to keep that through. And then we'll take this and we're going to skip the little one and we're going into the next one. And then the one that didn't get one before. And the sale paper and the orange cardstock. And at that point, oh, how about we do the cover? <laughs> at that point, We've got two in the cover, okay? And then we can flip it over. And for temporary, we'll just kind of twist this. If this were a ribbon, you could do this with ribbon and you could tie a bow and let it hang down. That would look real pretty. And it's still a little damp. And if yours is still a little damp, I suggest that you put something heavy on it to let it dry, fold it. That would be a good thing to do overnight. 
Then you'll want to take an X-Acto knife, which I did not bring in here. Shoot. Okay, so X-Acto knife, razor blade, whatever you're going to use, be very careful. You want to go up. I would call that an eighth of an inch above the edge of the cellophane. Okay, do you see that? The reason for that is you want to leave some of the area where the cellophane is glued to the paper. All right, you, you want that to stay in one piece. And then you want to cut it across almost to the corners. And that will give you a really nice slit. Yeah, this one is really wacky. I'm gonna have to glue that down because that won't work at all. But anyway, it'll give you a nice slit so that you can add, you'll have to cut out a little piece of cardstock. Don't try and do this with printer paper, but I used something really stiff. This is um, actually linen cardstock. And I just cut it out the size of the slit. And I trimmed it a little so it would slide down smoothly. Okay. But you could put anything you want on it. It could be the title of your book. Um, it could be your name. It could be the person's name you're giving this to. Whatever you want. Okay. So that's our journal. Um, multiple types of closures. You know, maybe sometime I'll just do a video just on closures and, and spine ties. Um, and then another thing that I didn't get to add to the other ones, I found somebody used this on one of the journals I was watching, and it's called a bulb because it looks like a light bulb pin. There we go. You can see it there. You know what else it looks like to me? Those old fashioned shower hooks that you put in your shower curtain and it opens the same way. You just kind of go like that. And so I put it through since this was a calendar, it had a hole, but if it doesn't have a hole, you can make one or you can use eyelets to make a hole and then you can hang either jute or a pretty ribbon you can put some beads on it. I have this piece of turquoise that reminded me of the circles that were on the front. And I said, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. And I might put some more beads down the length of it here, but um, that was just a quick fix to get it on there and see how it worked. Anyway, I've got all these journals now and um, this one has some half pages in it. It's got some rubber stamping. I love this guy. <laughs> you have to put him together. He doesn't come like that. Um, this is a wonderful recipe for some rich Mexican hot chocolate. I don't know what I'm gonna put on some of these other pages yet. Haven't decided. There's some of my uh, signature bubble wrap. This was a great recipe for broccoli pesto. And it didn't actually fit the whole recipe and the picture. So I cut this shorter. There's nothing saying you can't do that. And then kind of paste it on. Here's another little pocket. So you can keep whatever you want in it. Music paper, pocket. And these I just glued shut. I didn't even use um, washi tape. There's just so many things that you can do. I like this picture, but I thought I might want to write something here. So I put a little piece of white cardstock. Black gesso, one of my favorites so far. And all I could see was like maybe a menu board, but I have to put something on it. I got to figure that out. Yep, stamps, all kinds of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making them. And um, let's see, this is on YouTube. So if you would please, please, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, I know a lot of people come to my 
Facebook page and do a thumbs up and that's great. At least I know you saw it, but what really counts is in here, right down below the picture. There's a thumb up and a thumb down right there. Um, please put comments, say I was here, saw your video. And um, if you wanna see more, hit subscribe. And I think in some cases, depending on uh, what platform you're on, you'll see a little bell. The bell will serve as a notification. So it will pop up and say, hey, Ruth has a new video. <laughs> that way you don't have to go looking for it. Okay, thank you very much for coming. And um, I'm gonna try and help you find ways to keep busy during this uh, shelter in place. What a crazy world. See you later.